Hi, Girl Boss Beauties. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Stacey Elaine, and welcome to the Girl Boss Beauty community. Before I get started, I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Found out via Google Analytics that 94% of you watching this video are not subscribed to my channel. So let's get those numbers up. I would really appreciate your support. I am doing a video today all about how I'm going to care for my newly blonde afro. So, you know, natural hair is already dry. I've gone and um, for my birthday, hashtag, hashtag chapter 37, I went and basically went pretty blonde with the hair, as you can see. Now, if you have perused my channel before. I've done a video regarding Olaplex and how I used it when I felt that my elasticity and my natural hair had been compromised. So today I'm going to do a more encompassing video of how I included Olaplex as well as other products into taking care of my newly blonde natural hair. So this video is helpful for anyone who's colored their hair, not just someone who's gone blonde, not just for someone who has naturally curly, kinky hair like I do. So my hair is pretty curly naturally. Um, I've been pulling it out, trying to detangle it, so I've disrupted a lot of the curls. But you can see, like in the back here, that's pretty much what my curls look like. So if you color your hair, you know that it always relaxes it, especially if you go blonde. So when I wet my hair, you'll be able to see more closely how loose my curl pattern got. And so hair is most fragile when it's wet, so I'm trying to take care of it. I'm going to do an Olaplex number three treatment, but let me tell you what I did to prepare my natural hair while I was coloring it. I did Olaplex number one in the salon by adding the system Olaplex number one to the lightening color mixture. So that was added while my hair was lightening to protect it from getting damaged while it was processing. They, did, they then did Olaplex number two at the bowl um, where they put it on and then rinsed it out and now I'm doing Olaplex number three at home as touch-ups to this system because my hair, of course, it doesn't feel any different, thankfully, but I know that it has been compromised and my curl pattern is a bit weaker. You can only really tell when it's wet though. In addition to Olaplex, I am going to use or continue using this Honest Beauty Truly Restored Shampoo. This shampoo is awesome and I've been using a lot of Honest Beauty products lately and I've loved every single one of them. So this Truly Restored Shampoo says it will revive and restore lots while you cleanse. This rich shampoo is formulated with a blend of 18 vegetable derived amino acids that help mimic the composition of hair keratin. Um, and it's shown to improve strength, elasticity, smoothness, frizz control, and shine. So that's why I am using this shampoo today after I do the Olaplex number three. And so this is what Olaplex number three looks like. It is a bonding system where it just strengthens the bonds of your hair. It's not protein. It's not a conditioner. It's a bond builder. That's all. So all I'm going to do is wet my hair and then I'm going to towel dry it, put this on it. You'll also need a comb to comb your hair out with. And my favorite is the Felicia Leatherwood Detangler Brush. This works really well for my natural hair. So this is what I'm going to comb that through with. I'm going to leave it on for about 45 minutes and then I will shampoo with the Truly Restored Shampoo. And then I will um, condition my hair with either one of these. So I picked this up in hmm, Walmart, Target, one of them. It's the L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Color Care System. It's the blonde conditioner. So I may use this conditioner and try it out today and let you guys know 
or I will just deep condition with what I've been using before, which is the Carol's Daughter Almond Milk Ultra Nourishing Hair Mask. I've been using this twice a week since I got my hair colored to help it, help it be in tip top condition and to help my hair to retain moisture. I will show you three other products that I will be using to keep my newly colored hair in tip top condition. And that is things that I've already been using that will work well with my colored hair, which is the Kara's Daughter Black Vanilla Sulfate, Sulfate Free Sh Shampoo. It is formulated for dry, dull, and brittle hair. And so I will continue using this. I have about half a bottle and I really like this. And then a system that I absolutely love is the Amica Triple RX Shampoo and Conditioner. I actually picked both of these up from Marshalls, but they help to combat frizz, to smooth and to protect the hair. It also has been um, formulated specifically for weak and damaged colored or chemical processed hair. So these I will also be using. So if you would like to um, subscribe to the channel, stay along this hair journey that I'm on, I plan on staying blonde this entire year for, you know, while I'm 37. So um, I'll just give periodic hair updates. They won't be long, but I'll just let you know how the hair is looking and how things are going. And if my um, regimen changes, I'll let you know. So with that being said, let me go wet my hair and then I will show you what it looks like when it is wet and how loose the curl pattern is. All right, guys, so this is what my hair looks like damp. I wet it and then I just held it in this towel so that it is now damp and not soaking wet. This is exactly how the hair should be when you're doing Olaplex. But as you can see, like these ends, they look pretty limp. You could not tell in its natural state because I mean, natural hair is just magical, let's be honest. But um, this is what it looks like wet. And so all I do, I have a little leftover from my last Olaplex treatment. And all you do is just apply this on the hair like you would a conditioner. <laughs> so I tend to try to put it all over first. And then I go back and do it in sections. Okay. So my hair is very limp, as you can see. So I will just put this on my hair and then I'll come back after I rinse out my shampoo and conditioner before I put any product on my hair to see how it has built up the bonds of my hair after one treatment um, after my hair has just been dyed. And so I will say today is July 13th. I got my hair died 10 days ago on July 3rd. So I'm going to turn you guys off and continue doing this and I'll be back. And I expect great results because I've used this before and I think it's a miracle worker. Hi guys, so I'm just giving you a sneak peek at what my hair looks like after I've applied the Olaplex, but before I've let it sit on for 45 minutes, so my hair is freshly detangled. I've applied it from root to tip and uh, saturated the ends. I've made sure I got a lot of dead hair out and detangled, so um, this is what it looks like. I'll be back in a little bit. 
Alrighty, so it's been an hour and 20 minutes. I was working on a blog post, so time got away from me. Um, check out my blog post, www.girlbossbeauty.com. I'll put it here. But check out my post about the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I'm working so hard on them, you guys. But in the meantime, it's been an hour and 20 minutes. And this is what my hair looks like with the treatment in it. You can already tell how um, more defined my curls are. So I'm going to rinse this out and then I'm going to do my shampoo. And because I need to leave the house to go to Nordstrom, I'm just going to do this conditioner. If I don't think this conditioner is doing it up for me, then I'm just going to back up with this, but I'm not going to deep condition today. I'm just going to do some good, you know, leave it on for like three to five minutes type of conditioning and go about my business with this shampoo. So I'll see you in a bit. I have finished the system for the day. I just got out of the shower. My hair is dripping wet. So that's why I have this towel on. Plus I'm naked, naked, naked. Um, and this is what my hair looks like. Um, I do, I can see a difference in how um, tight my curl pattern is and I also feel like my hair is stronger because at first I felt like the ends of my hair I had to be so gentle with them like they would just mush together if that makes sense and I definitely feel the definition and so um, I'll keep doing this and um, I have about two more treatments left because I only got to use this one. It was about halfway finished and I use this so that lets me know that one bottle, if my hair is properly damp, I could get two treatments out of this and that's what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to, I have a whole nother bottle remaining and I'm going to use that. But until next time, I will keep taking you along this journey, restoring my hair from going blonde. And I have no regrets about going blonde. It just takes a little bit more maintenance, but I'm here for it. Bye ladies.